Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I am coming back at you with a new video and it's going to be about two pretty amazing handbags and uh, they are the Lady Dior versus the 30 Montaigne Fox bag. Honestly, like I love them both so much and um, I think especially like with this one that just came out, I think a lot of people have been deciding between a classic like um, the Lady Dior versus a trendier newer bag like 30 Montaigne. At least I was, so I thought I would come on here and do a little comparison video in case you are having the same dilemma where you can't decide which is the right bag to go for or let's go for first. Before we start, I would love for you guys to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, I personally would really really appreciate it and um, I post videos at least once a week, sometimes twice, sometimes three times depending, but um, all my videos are about fashion, luxury, style, and um, sometimes a little bit of beauty. So if you're interested in any or all of those topics, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also ring the notification bell. That way anytime I upload a video, you get notified. All right guys, so of course, you know I love both of these bags because I have them both. But um, I actually purchased this, uh, the 3110 first because I don't know, like I was so drawn to it and um, it was something that I had to get. And then this Lady Dior um, is actually a vintage piece. Just to give you guys a little bit of like overview on the difference, I guess, like this is um, from the boutiques and this one is actually vintage and i personally was kind of waiting for the right lady dior to purchase just because you know obviously it's a classic and they have so many different fabrics different styles um i personally was actually looking for a satin one so when i saw this especially in this color i just thought it was so so beautiful um by the way this like little chain honestly it's just like a chain belt that i attached to it just because i want to show you guys later like how you could wear it and stuff like that so um i thought i would just like clip it on for now but um there are a couple of different things that went into helping me decide to make the purchase make this purchase first before the lady dior The first thing is, of course, style. So um, as you can tell, the Lady Dior is a much more feminine style. Um, and it is, I mean, of course, it's more of a classic. It's been around for ages. And um, especially in this fabric, like I knew I wanted something kind of like evening-y um, that I could wear, it, you know, day and night, but also like that it would be presentable for the night. And um, whereas this, box the 30 montaigne box bag is definitely more cat more of a casual style especially with this chunky strap so if you are someone who is a very girly person then i would say that you might want to go for the lady dior first just because it's i think it's something that you would wear more frequently i wouldn't say that i'm super girly like i'm i wear dresses but i'm not like someone who wears dresses all the time like i like wearing jeans i like looking a little edgy so personally because of that i thought i would add this to my collection just because i didn't have anything in my collection that was kind of like chunky or with like a chunkier strap and of course with the lady dior you could buy one of the dior straps and hook it on and give it more of that um masculine bit more of a masculine vibe but um i personally was really drawn to this shape so that's how i made a decision because i felt like this i could wear with a lot more of the stuff that i'm into i was i already thought of this and i was like you know i could add a little chain on it and it would give it a whole different vibe so like a thinner um a thinner strap or like a chain strap this is like just a belt but i thought it would be cool or like you know doable for me to just like 
make it into like a bag chain. Once I put this on, you'll be able to, you'll be able to see what I mean. This, in my opinion, once you change the chain, you can give it like a way more like girly vibe and kind of more like zinnery, you know what I mean? And I will also insert um, like a cutaway for mod shots so you can kind of see how they look styled. To summarize all the information I just gave you, if you want something edgier, this is your friend. If you want something more classic, more girly, and that's your style, then go for the Lady Dior. All right, now moving on. The second thing is whether you care about whether the bag is a classic or not. So personally, I feel like this will soon be a classic, but the thing is like there's no guarantees, right? Like it's pretty new, it's a new style. So you just don't know if it's going to stay in the Dior permanent collection. Right, the Lady Dior has been around for forever. So if you're looking for more of a long-term investment, and I say I emphasize on long-term because I think in like 10, 20 years, people are still going to be looking for it. Whereas the 30 more 10, it's pretty new. Like in 10 years, it could be like totally out of style and people are like, ew, like I would never buy this. We would never know, right? So if you want something that is just like a safer investment, then the Le Dior is definitely like the way to go. But if you don't really care about whether it's a classic or not, and you're just looking for something that um, you love and you would wear, and you do like the 30 more 10, then, then go for that. Another thing that I want to emphasize is that for a 30 more 10, just because it's pretty rare, in the short term, the um, 30 more 10 box bag actually holds its value better. So when I first purchased uh, the bag, it was like 27.50, something like that. And it basically held its value because it was so rare. There were a lot of people trying to get it and it was hard to find. So on the second hand market, people were reselling it for the same price, if not more. Well, I don't know if in a year it's gonna continue in this direction, but I don't really see the price going down to like less than 2000 really. Now, the third thing is pricing, right? I mean, I'm sure all of you guys, like as much as we love luxury goods, we still care a little bit about pricing. And right now on the Dior website, the 30 Montan box bag is 2950 for this print, um, the canvas, and it's 3200 I believe, for the um, leather version of it. So the Lady Dior online for something that's brand new ranges from like 3500 for the simple, um, just like lambskin leather ones, which I'll, I'll insert a picture. And then there's another, I was looking on their website basically, and there was also another one for 3600 And um, the 3600 one was the, I think one with rhinestones on it and kind of a satin material. And then there's another one for 3800 and that is the ultra matte um, in black and white. I believe it's 3800 And then they also have another one that's like $5,000. Um, I didn't even like it. It's like $5,000 and it wasn't even cute, but I'm sure someone out there is like loving it. Anyway, um, it's the suede one with embellishments or embroidery on it. And um, so the range is pretty large, but even like on the lowest end for the mini Lady Dior, it's still 3,500. So I think price-wise, I mean, it's not the biggest difference, but it is still a difference. It's a couple of hundred dollars. And another thing that I already covered in my previous point, but just want to say this out there again, this bag is more rare. So if you're looking to buy one from the boutique and one you're not you don't really care if it's vintage or not they don't get this from the boutique because the resale market price is either the same or more expensive and i would get the lady dior pre-loved because when i was looking on the pre-loved market um, on the real real the fashion file all of those places 
there's just so many designs out there honestly you can find a bigger variety of the mini lady dior than in source so if you're looking to buy one from the boutique i wouldn't say i would say not this one unless there is a specific colorway or design that you're loving that you and the last point is what fits in each i think i haven't tried this yet but i think they fit pretty similar amounts so this is what the 3110 looks like on the inside there is one pocket and then the rest of it is just open if you can see i typically would i'll either hold my phone or put it in but that's just to be safe like you want your phone in there your wallet my wallet and this is what i've been using for ages now and it, let's say lipstick this is from gucci and it's really cool it's like a really beautiful like red color sometimes i bring a hair clip along with me so that basically is all that fits maybe you can fit another lipstick or like another like pretty slim thing like the hand sanitizer there's no way it's going in chanel compact which sometimes i bring no way it's going in sunglasses also no way it's fitting in it, this is full so let's say if i hold my i know a lot of people do this too so let's say if i hold the phone in my hand then i think i can fit the chanel compact in yeah i can fit my chanel compact in it looks like it can fit more but honestly because it's so compact it doesn't really fit as much as i thought it would but i don't care because it's i think it's super cute so i'm like it's okay as long as you fit my wallet and phone you're good so with this lady dior there is a bit more give on the sides so i'm actually i think able to fit more in but i don't really know let's try it together so first i'm gonna put my phone in and it fits then i'm gonna try my wallet again fits as well let's try my sunglasses because i really like to bring my sunglasses around yeah it fits actually i'm just gonna so i put my sunglasses kind of on top of my wallet um so it just like kind of sits on top and then my lipstick i will put in the corner fits hair clip fits in the corner and my compact actually also fits and I'm not able to put the hand, this hand sanitizer in at least. I could fit a smaller one, but that's about it. And then the flap just tucks in. And there we go. So the Lady Dior actually fits quite a bit more, the mini Lady Dior, um, which I am honestly shocked about um, just because initially I thought they were going to fit the same amount, but the mini lady dior actually fits my chanel compact and my sunglasses i'm impressed here's all the information the comparison between those these two bags i think everyone has different priorities for me i wanted to buy the bag that may not be in source again next season and i wanted something that not everyone was carrying and that's how i arrived at my decision to get the 3110 box bag but if you're someone who wants something more classic you have more classic person then you know maybe the mini lady dior is a better option for you i hope this was helpful to you guys and if it was don't forget to give it a thumbs up i'm gonna end my video here um, thank you guys for watching as usual and if you're not already subscribed hopefully this video will change that for you um, go down on there and hit that subscribe button and um, hopefully I'll be able to see you guys back here so thank you so much again and I'll talk to you guys in my next video all right bye guys